The question to all this, will two mass shootings in two days break the logjam in Washington when it comes to gun control? Well, a Republican Senate, encouraged by a Republican president now, may be moving on legislation to do something. Our Jeff Gillen talked with our Democratic U.S. Senator Jackie Rosen about that today. At the White House. We don't want guns in the hands of the wrong people. The president told reporters today he supports what he calls intelligent background checks to buy guns. With 31 dead, the weekend death toll in Dayton and El Paso, Washington Republicans, typically less friendly to restricting gun rights, may be warming up to the idea something must happen. They're finally feeling heat after years and years of mass shooting, of gun violence. That's Nevada's Democratic Senator Jackie Rosen, who spoke with me at UNLV. So what I can tell you is they should have been feeling this heat and thinking about it for a long time. The president says the head of the Senate, Republican Mitch McConnell, is on board with some type of background check. But the National Rifle Association, which carries enormous clout, has not signed off. It says background checks would not have stopped the latest shootings, both with guns bought legally. Rosen says banning assault rifles, limiting the size of magazines, and expanding background checks would help. Some of these are just common sense public health and safety issues. According to the Gun Violence Archive, since July 27th, four shootings alone left 111 people shot. The gunman in Texas specifically targeted Hispanics, spreading unease among Hispanics here as America argues over immigration. These shootings in El Paso were, were kind of the culmination of what we've been fearing. The fear now. What city's next? In Las Vegas, Jeff Gillen, News 3.